Hi, this is Natasha Lair Lewis from Esther's Place, and today we're saying Go Cubs Go! We're going to show you how to make a fun commemorative pin out of needle felting and a little local wool. We're very proud of our Chicago team being a Chicago based business, and all of our wool that we're using is from local sheep. So today, come and join me as I show you just how to make a pin out of wool and needle felting techniques. To get started, you'll just need a simple couple of supplies. We have our foam. This is a foam block. This is a high density foam. We have two needles. These are 36 gauge felting needles. And we have tiny little notches on the bottom of the needle that help to tangle the fibers together. So they are a specialized needle. They're called felting needles. These are 36 gauge and you'll need two, one for your helper needle to hold things in place and another to poke with. You'll also need just a few colors. Can you guess? Red, white, and blue. You'll need a piece for the base. This is about the size of your hand. You'll need also just a small amount of cubby blue and cubby red. We're using Cheviot roving that we sell. We actually grow the sheep dye the fibers, do the whole process so it's all locally grown from Happy Sheep right here in Chicagoland. So we're going to start out with our large piece of white. We're going to take three fingers and roll this fiber around those three fingers. So take and actually loosely roll this around your three fingers and then we're going to slide that off and we're going to just kind of put that on our foam and kind of smush the middle together. We're then going to take one of your needles here and we're going to put it in the center to hold it. This is to prevent you from poking your fingers, so the needle in the middle helps to hold it down. We're then going to take and start poking with the other needle around the outside edge. You're going to just use short up and down strokes that will tangle the fibers together. The reason we go around the edge is because it will anchor the edge down and help give us a good shape. So we're going for a circle shape. So we're just gonna start by poking around the edge all the way around on this entire thing. Once we've got the edge down, we can start into the middle and already you can see it's starting to flatten. But it won't take long for this whole thing to get flat and smooth. What we're trying to do is create a canvas that we can then embellish with our design. This works well for a number of different things and the circle motif with uh, embellishment designs can be used to all kinds of different things. You could do um, initials, you could do little pictures on here. Um, we're just starting out with a circle and then you can embellish it however you like. We happen to be doing cups today. So go ahead, start poking that till it gets nice and flat and it'll just take a few minutes. Now, if you want to go a little faster, you can take and use both needles. So you take and hold them both together, two in your hand, and then you can use that. I suggest to do that once you have this anchor down to the foam and it's holding down so you don't have to hold your fingers. Notice my hands are on the side here and not anywhere near the sharp needles as I'm poking. All right, so once we've got that nice and flat, nice and smooth, you can take and kind of brush your fingers over the surface to see if there's any fiber sticking up. It should feel kind of smooth. We're going to take and peel that off and flip it over to the other side. You'll notice that this other side is a little bit fuzzy, but we're going to go ahead and flatten that down again. So again, put one needle into the center and go ahead and poke with your other, just to get that anchor down. Now, as you continue poking, you don't have to go that deep. We're just doing shallow pokes because the deeper you go, the further uh, that fiber embeds into the foam, and then you just have to work on getting more fuzzies compacted again. So you can even hear the sound of shallow pokes compared to deeper pokes. So I know you might have some built up aggression, but go ahead and, and just simmer it back a little bit. So we're just doing some tiny little pokes on the surface here. In fact, one way to help you remember to not poke so deep is to hold this needle where it gets smaller. You can see the diameter change on the needle. Just put your finger here so as you're poking, it's actually stopping you from going too deep. 
All right, so we're gonna just finish up this side and we'll flip it over once more. So we go back and forth flipping it over till we have a nice compacted surface. You can do this as much as you like to give you a good canvas to work on. The smoother and the denser it is, the easier it is to add those embellishments. All right, I wanna make sure that I have it anchored down to the foam before I start so it's actually secured into the foam. So when we start doing our design, we don't have to worry about it lifting. All right, so we just have a few colors to add. We have an outside edge of blue and a C made out of the red. So we're gonna start with the blue. So you wanna take some of that Cubby's blue and we're gonna split it from the top to the bottom. So just start here at the top and we're going to split down into a thin line. You can take and pull it a little bit if you need to get a little more even, but then you're gonna take and you're going to roll it in your fingers. Get into a nice smooth line. The more compacted it is before you start felting it, the less work you'll need to do when you go to needling it into your, your piece of art. All right, you can also breathe on it. The moisture in your breath actually helps the fibers to kind of join together a little quicker. All right, so we have our nice line here and we're gonna start by anchoring that line in around the outside edge, coming in off the white just a little bit. So we're gonna pin it in with one needle and then we're gonna just poke it in as we go around. So pinning it in helps it to anchor and then we'll take and just work our way around, poking as we go. So we'll just travel around the whole circle, poking it in And once you get this anchored, you can always come back and poke it more if it needs to shrink a little bit more. You can always add if your line doesn't get quite around, just take another piece and add that on. I need just a little bit more, I kind of misjudged and came up a little shy. So I'm going to add just a little bit more in that thin area there. All right, so we're just poking that in all the way around till it's nice and secure. If you brush your fingers over it, none of those fibers are moving. So now it's time to add our cubby C. So grab your red, and you're just going to take a small amount again, splitting it from the top to the bottom, and you'll do the same process. Roll that. Now this line is a little bit thicker. The C is a little bit more pronounced than the blue. So you'll need just a little bit more fiber for this. All right, so in the center, we're gonna anchor where the C starts and then we'll just make our way around. It's, gonna, it's going to look something like this as we start. And then we'll just same way as we did the outside edge, work around poking it in as we go. All right, if you get to the end and you have extra, you can pull that off, or as I like to do, just take and needle it in. It will all incorporate in as you poke that a little bit more. So you don't have to tear the extra off, just fold it back in and incorporate it as part of the piece. All right. That's looking great. So now that we've got our design, you can take and continue felting that till it's nice and smooth. So you're going to take and just poke all over till it gets nice and flat, till all the fibers 
are in your desired size and uh, desired thickness and then we'll just finish it off with a couple little touches. So you're going to take it off your foam and put it in your hands and just go back and forth a little bit. Breathe on it too. That smooths things out. So now it's a little bit flatter and not so fuzzy on either side. You'll also take and needle felt the edges to give it a nice firm edge. Now really watch your fingers here, but what I'm doing is just working my way around the edge, tucking in those little extra stray fibers. All right, so when you're done, go ahead and you can put a pin on the back of it and wear it with pride. Now we have lots of other ideas for different designs. You can do a classic C outlined in both cubby colors. You could do a little bit more of an old-fashioned retro uh, C with a little red in the middle. You could do a baseball. So these are all just very simple, easy projects. Small, you can tackle them in about 10 minutes or so. And they make for a really fun way to show off your love of felting and your love of the Chicago Cubs. So I hope you'll run out, get a little bit of fiber, and make yourself a pendant to celebrate their victory, their 108 year victory. We're gonna be celebrating that for a long time to come. So thanks so much for watching and go Cubs go!